Hello, I'm Serge from SkyComp Solutions. Today we're going to talk about doing a warm and cold transfer with 3CX on a Yealink phone. If you don't know what the difference between a warm and cold transfer are, it's very simple. A warm transfer gives an introduction. You're on the phone with somebody, say a customer for your organization, you want to transfer that call over to sales. A warm transfer is when you call your colleague in your organization, you talk to them first, say you have a client on the phone, would you like to talk to John Smith? They say yes, you press transfer again. So you've given a warm introduction to that person receiving the call. A cold transfer just takes out that introduction. You have a call with a client and you say, let me put you through to sales. You do a transfer to the sales department, hit transfer right away, and immediately that phone starts ringing. And when the sales department picks up the phone, they're immediately talking to the client. So that's the only difference between a warm and a cold transfer. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now with 3CX. What's gonna happen is I'm gonna receive a call. Just like normal, I picked up that call and we can see the buttons across the bottom change. One of the buttons is transfer. So all I have to do is press transfer. I'll hear a dial tone in my ear. The customer that I'm talking to is now on hold and I dial the extension that I want to transfer to. And first I'm going to show you a warm transfer. So what happens is that other phone rings. They pick up. I can give an introduction. I have Sebastian on the phone for you. Would you like to take the call? They say yes. I press transfer. I've dropped out of the call. I can hang up my phone. Sebastian's now talking to the sales department. So a very similar situation if I receive another call. I'm talking to the person. Let me transfer you over to the sales department. I can press transfer, dial the extension, transfer. I've immediately dropped out. My phone is off. The other phone is ringing. They pick up they're talking to the outside client. That's how you place a warm and a cold transfer. The final item to talk about is if you receive a call, you're doing a warm transfer and the person in your organization doesn't want to take the call, how do you get back to that phone call? So again, I'm going to receive another phone call. I'm going to do transfer, dial the extension. Again, I'm doing a warm transfer for this example. They're off the phone. They decide, no, I'm too busy right now. Can you take a message for me? In my case, I have buttons across the bottom and one of those buttons is end call. I place end call. That drops the person in my organization out of the call, but I'm not connected to anybody. The caller calling in is still on hold. I have a button here, resume. I press resume. I'm back talking to the external customer and say, I'm sorry, the sales department's busy right now. Can I take a message and have them call you back? And then at the end of the call, you hang up as normal. So those are your options with transfer, a warm transfer, a cold transfer, and how to cancel a warm transfer if the person on the other end doesn't want to take the call. Hopefully you found this helpful. Look forward to some more tips for 3CX and how to make everything out of your phone system.